us what you're bringing to your first day of school. Car trip, round two. Hi. Journey, can I have your lunch? No. Oh, no, no, you have to eat that. I got the cutters, and I'm gonna cut off a piece of What is that? It's a little car, it's a little bunny. Today is a really big day. Today is Journey's first day of preschool. As usual, we're just frantically running around trying to get everybody in the car. I'm not gonna film too much of it, but we picked out a cute outfit last night. She's got her outfit on. I'm gonna take some pictures, which I'm sure I will post on Instagram if you guys are following us on there, at Tila Daily Vlogs. Putting together her lunch. The school that she's going to is a nut-free place, so you can't send them with like peanut butter jelly sandwiches, which that's the only type of sandwich that she likes. I'm just kind just of winging it and throwing in all these random things, and then I'm gonna see what she eats and brings back. So she's got her whole drink right here. I've got these chips, these are her favorite. These are olives, she loves. String cheese, a little fruit roll up thing. Some meat, cause she just likes to eat meat plain, but she likes bologna, not so often turkey. And I got her some of these little craisins. So I'm just gonna see what all she eats. I'm also gonna go grocery shopping today and get a little bit more creative stuff that I can throw in there and maybe like some pouch drink things, cause this is like a watermelon berry thing. But okay, we gotta go. I know I never get one of these lunches. <laughs> we'll we'll go get you a lunch pail too. You wanna, wanna do you want a Moana one to match journeys, uh, Elena? Want, she don't make me no lunches. <laughs> I want one. Journey, can I have your lunch? No. Oh no no you have to eat that. That's breakfast. I'll eat some of that when you're done eating it. But anyway, this is Jessica's first time making the lunch. <laughs> in the car and I gotta head down the hill. Journey already made a friend from the second she got there. The girl was like, I'm the welcoming committee. Journey just started playing right off the bat. We put her lunch where it went and that was really great. So they start off playing and then they get to get into more of, I guess, the serious stuff. I don't know. So anyways, I gotta load up Talon and Jasmine really quick and head back out. Car trip, round two. Hi, you are just the happiest in the morning. Okay, I'm in such a hurry. I've got to go. Okay, Alan is playing on that. It's dead, so he can't really do much. But <laughs> yeah, I know it's dead. I knew something chaotic was gonna happen because of all of how crazy today is gonna be because that's how things usually go. We were supposed to get everybody in the car and I was supposed to drop Journey off at school and then me and the kids were gonna head down the hill. We're gonna meet up with my dad, go to Home Depot and get all of the materials to build the fence this Saturday. I am so excited. A part of that plan was that Tyler was supposed to cut off a piece of fencing for me so I knew the thickness of the fencing that we were ordering and leave me the measurements. And I think in the mix of the chaos, Tyler did not leave me measurements or cut off a piece of the fence for me. So I just turned around, drove all the way back, and I've got, oh my gosh, are these gopher holes? I got the cutters and I'm gonna cut off a piece of the fence. Here, I'll just stick you right there. ridiculous thing. I think you guys didn't even see it. I got my stupid piece of fence <laughs> and I got a message Tyler and get him to send me the measurements and I can go. I was actually already scheduled to go do something at 11 before all of this like whole fence material planning started. I'm just trying to fit everything in and the person just messaged me and is like, I'm ready at 10. I'm like, I'm not even close to being ready. So, and I'm spazzing out about Journey School. So I'm gonna go drive by there again and check and make sure that she's okay. <laughs> this is definitely a day where I for reals need some coffee. The lighting is terrible, but I have got to give an update here. I made my rounds and I called everybody. Tyler sending me the picture of the perimeter of the fence. I have all the measurements. I actually called Journey's preschool because I'm that parent. It's like, I hate to be that parent, but I just want to make sure that she got inside and she was okay. She's 
like yeah she's totally fine because you know there's like parents dropping off and picking up and I don't know like I just want to make sure that like I don't know somebody didn't take my kid that's terrible <laughs> I knew she'd be good because she really wanted to go to school so I knew she'd be totally fine but still okay anyways I'm getting like so so dragged here I feel like I got a hold of everybody and I'm good my dad's like I'm already at Home Depot come meet me so I'm heading there I get all this stuff ordered they are gonna be delivering it for free so I don't have to worry about that that was like a huge stressor because I was gonna try to get this truck that was gonna pick everything up and now I don't have to worry about that <laughs> mama needs coffee the Home Depot is like Target where you come here for one thing but you order a bunch of other things. I'm looking for a porch light. You're welcome. You're gonna get out? We're looking for a porch light. I think my budget was like $40. So let's see, there's a ton. If you get out, you have to stay right here, okay? Here you. You're welcome. Ugly boards. Yeah, I don't really care for the red, but I don't really want this. I Look at this Christmas tree. You can actually pick what color it is. Yellow, red, purple, blue, teal, white, pink. I love it. We ordered the cement, the wood posts, and all of the fencing so that was really exciting the last things that we have to order are the wood boards that go across the top i hope you guys understand what i'm saying maybe i should have shown a visual so it's not so confusing going along our property we had to drill holes in the ground uh oh just like posts in them and then we have to put the fencing up against the posts and then we have wood boards that are going across i think we're doing three levels so it's going to be delivered next week which is even more exciting the only problem is we had blocked out Saturday and Sunday to start doing this, so hopefully we'll just be able to drill the holes and grade off the property and then get it going. And now we are off to our next place and then we have to zoom back up the hill to go pick up Journey from school. What would a crazy day be without getting? Guess, 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 everybody! Guess, 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 everybody! I feel like we are living out of my car right now. <laughs> I got all the kids set up with snackies so they can eat just really quick while I'm getting some cardboard from the cardboard place. But we have a surprise for you. What is that? It's a little girl, it's a little bunny. It's a girl bunny and you're being so soft with her. She really likes you. <laughs> what? Are you eating chips? And yeah. watching TV? Yeah. Let me see if this one, if this screen's working. This screen stopped working the other day. Yeah, look. oh, nope, it's working. Okay, awesome. Do you guys like this screen or the other screen better? I like that one over here. You like this one? Let's put this one up then. Journey has her bunny and she's trying to figure out what to name it. What are you going to name her? Um, a bunny. A bunny little. I don't know. What's her name? We got to think of a name. She's brown and black, so you should think of a fun name. I don't know what Like Coco or something fun. Maybe Coco. Maybe Coco? You like Coco? Yeah, like you like Coco? Okay, maybe that's what we'll call her. I'm actually super bummed that I didn't film Talon with her when I first got her because Talon was so sweet. He was like kissing her and hugging her. He just like, he loved her so much. <laughs> I love it, baby. Do you want to tell me what you learned at school today? I was doing some jumping. I was doing jumping. Uh huh. And I was doing a little scene. I was playing at the new park. Play at the park. But what did you learn in school? Did you learn anything? I did painting. I did drawing. And it, I did drawing outside by beginning. Okay. So. The bunny was in the car. And the bunny was in the car. And you were striving to pick me up. Yes. I was playing with the kids. And you were playing with the kids? And what letter did you learn about today? Um, copy G. I think you learned the letter E. E. I think E. Look at this girl chowing down. Do I have more? I have more. Okay, hold on. Here go. It looks like she learned about the letter E. So she made eggs, and that's an egg sack, and spiderlings, spider, what does that say? Spider tings, spiderlings? I don't know. And these are supposed to be big spiders. And then this is the E. 
So just some elephants. The spider has eight legs, and so she got to color all this. That's cool. And then she learned about the elephant, so she got to do all the little dots inside here. So that's so neat. Very cool. Her first set of homework, you guys. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I gotta keep this forever. Nobody touched this. This is so precious. So we'll stick it on the floor. I totally forgot that we had the stroller in here from our trip, so I couldn't even fit the box in the bag, so I had to shove it all right there. Now we are heading off to the peel box. Four hours later. <laughs> Sometimes it is so hard for me to film if I'm carrying Jasmine in one arm and I'm holding Talon's hand with the other hand and I have no more hands left to film or do anything. I'm telling you, our vlogs would be so much better if we had like a camera person that just followed us around. It'd probably be more exciting. After we left the PO box, um, we went and picked up some stuff. We got some packages and things from you guys, so I'll be opening those later with the kids. Thank you for that. We went way back down the hill to get the bunny. I had to go all the way back down the hill because we had to get some more baby chicks. We ended up getting six baby chicks because this guy was just trying to get rid of them. So he's like, oh, just a dollar. Here, take them. So the type of chickens that they are, they're awesome. They're like big chickens. They lay big eggs. We live out in the country. I know like a lot of people, their chickens are like their pets. Our chickens are like, kind of like our pets. You know, the kids love them, but really we use them for the eggs and stuff. We've never eaten any of our chickens, but we let them roam like and do their thing. So I got them all set up in the garage. I got the kitty pool out. I did all the bedding. I ended up stopping at our feed store too and getting new little watering things for all the animals. I wanted the bunny and the chicks to have their own little watering section so that I don't know if they're like cool with sharing water and sharing food. So I just kind of did everything separate. I mean, they're still little babies, so I'm sure it's fine right now. Put them all in the pool together and they're really cute and they're all cuddly and it's adorable and we got the heat lamp on them so everything's going good with that that was the completion of all that but what i want to update you guys on because i know a ton of you have been asking about the hotel situation what ended up happening the day after we got back from our trip which i don't think we had filmed that day i got an email and it was expedia and they were telling me that uh, the hotel ended up refunding all of our money and i was just like what the heck because the manager person told me that they were going to call me and they had my cell number and tyler's cell number nobody called us I ended up just emailing the days in owners and I was like, just want to let you know, this is our experience we had at your hotel. I thought that maybe they would reach out to us and say like, hey, we'll give you a, probably a free stay, I'm assuming, at our hotel at a different location just so that they can kind of redeem themselves. And I was telling Tyler, I go, well, that would be really good because whatever is kind of in the area, like maybe we could take the kids to the aquarium or something in Monterey and like stay at a Days Inn and then we could film our experience and hopefully it's a really positive one so Days Inn could kind of redeem themselves. But they just sent a response email back saying that they bought our thing and they saw it and that someone from their building was going to contact us. Nobody was going to contact us. Guys are here to start the fence. I gotta go. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And we will see you.